Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into our channel. Uh, we're gonna do a quick video about our limited technology December challenge. And where this all came about is obviously the election season has been a little bit stressful, depending on which side of the aisle you're on. And uh, just all the stuff going on, on Facebook, there's a lot of garbage out there, there's a lot of distraction going on. And one of the guys that we followed, the inspiration for our channel is uh, Joshua Becker. And he tells a story about he's in the garage cleaning up his uh, mess and he, he misses out spending time with his children because he's worried about his stuff. And it kind of got us thinking that there's a lot of stuff in our life that's just distracting us, a lot of negativity, a lot of things going on. And so during the Christmas season, it would be fantastic to remove that out of our lives and just focus on what the Christmas season really is and who Jesus is. And, and so you'll see, we're gonna pop up on the screen uh, this little graph that we made of things to do, not to do. And we just kind of want to walk through it with you and we're hoping that you guys can do it with us as much as you can, partially. Um, we just want you to follow along and, and hope that this is a blessing to you and your family. Um, I set up like a little traffic light and we're gonna start off with the avoid first because I want to go negative to positive. And so starting off with the number one thing to avoid that we're gonna avoid as a family is social media platforms. <laughs> That's Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Yeah, like for me, Facebook is a time killer. So I am in Facebook all day long. I check Facebook like a hundred times a day and I don't want to do that. I want to spend my time better and I want to focus on the important things. And so number two on our list is news outlets. Um, for me, watching the news is super depressing. Uh, things aren't going the way I want them to go right now. And I heard a sermon where a, a guy talked about as he came home from work, he did his business phone call. So when he got home, he was just wrapping up his phone calls. When he came in the house, he wasn't ready to be a dad. He was still worried about work and worried about all the things going on. And so one of the things is, is that stuff carries with us home. So if you, if you can avoid that, be ready to be a dad when you come home. Be ready to be that mom uh, because you're not distracted by things online. Uh, next one, general TV and movies. We don't watch a lot of TV. We kind of binge watch when a new show comes out sometimes, but we don't watch a ton of TV. That's not going to be a hard one for us. And then sources of negative influence, anything that causes doubt, fear, or worry. And I know that could be a touchy subject, but even during this Christmas season, that might be people. If there's really negative people in your life, it might be time to take a limited technology break from those people that are a little bit toxic. Um, just a chance to focus on the season, focus on who Jesus is, instead of uh, just all the negative that's in this world right now. And then video consoles. Uh, so Xbox, PlayStation, that's gonna be a hard one. Me and Austin play a lot of Xbox. We play Fortnite until Linda tells us to stop. <laughs> and uh, so Xbox is, a, is one of the ways that we bond, but that can also be a huge time killer. We can spend hours playing video games without really engaging the other kids. Yeah, yeah, Austin does a lot of Xbox and when we bought the Xbox, I said I, I was going to let him play only one hour a day, but he does way more than that. So I want him to stop doing that and do other things, learn new things and just like I want him to learn more Spanish. So I'm going to make him read in Spanish and instead of playing a lot of Xbox. So the yellow tab here. Uh, the purpose of this month is to unplug, remove distractions, and focus on Jesus, His coming to earth, and our salvation. It's not about legalism. And so I wanted to say on this whole thing, we, we changed it from no technology to limited technology because there's, there's a lot of things. My mom gave us a good reminder that you know phone calls during the Christmas season, there's things that you need to stay in touch with. I understand everyone's still working. I work. Um, I use technology at work. And so you can't avoid it 100%. That's the world we live in. We're talking about removing the negative distractions from our lives. So if there's something in your life that's distracting you from family, from Jesus, from church, just use December as a month to, to kind of separate from that. And so ending on the positive note, what are things to do? We saw a really cool thing, oddly enough, on Facebook. Um, that Luke has 24 chapters in it. So you as a family, if you read one chapter a day, by the time you get to Christmas Eve, you have the entire gospel message and the whole story of Jesus going all the way through. And so um, we're going to, as a family, 
to prepare for Christmas, um, read one chapter a day, and then we're going to discuss that, dive into it, use it as a time instead of watching a show to read the Bible. Does that sound good? Uh-huh. Um, the other one we put is family activities. So puzzles, games, story time, share family stories. Um, that could be a ton of things. It could be sledding. It could be hiking, walking. Um, we'll just let you guys kind of decide what route you want to go with on that. Uh, watch Christian, uh, watch Christian Christmas movies. Um, discuss the movie. Find the correlating Bible story. Uh, we have a subscription to Pure Flix. There's a really good show, The Chosen, season one. Fantastic. Um, again, that's going to help build your faith, not distract it. So. Austin. <laughs> Austin's screaming right now, actually, because... Hey, Austin! He's playing Xbox right now. Austin! <laughs> he can't hear us because he has his headphones on, but... Um, watch Christian movies, uh, discuss the movie, find the correlating Bible story. Um, just a time to build your family. Next one, find a way to serve your church, your friends, or your community. Um, perfect time of year to bake some cookies, shovel someone's driveway... Uh, just serving, doing something different, whatever that looks like for you and your family. So for the uh, more family activities, we can do the, like memorizing a Bible verse too. Mm -hmm. That would be a good idea. Doing some more Bible memory, stuff like that. Um, the last one we have here is engage in friendship. Uh, invite friends over, do meals, have conversations. Um, and then we talked about one of the things we don't do as often as we used to is to do a family meal. And so we kind of started just piecemealing meals and not doing full big meals, kind of sitting at a table and enjoying each other's company. And so for December, we're going to do that. We're going to um, sit down and, and have a nice meal every night as a family and actually take the time to do that right. Uh, and we get some good food out of it. So... It's kind of a double we win. We can cook together too and make Austin cook too. Mm -hmm. Do things as a family instead of just coming home and expecting food to be ready. We can all participate as a family. Um, and then the number one thing, you'll see this here at the bottom, is celebrate the season, which is the season of Christmas, and the reason for the season, which is Jesus, which is all that we're commanded to do is to follow him. So especially during the Christmas season, that's the time to really just set our hearts aside and not be distracted, follow follow what he's trying to share with us. Take some time to actually reflect, pray, and just uh, spend some time with him. So this is going to sound funny, but uh, if you want some updates on this, follow us on Facebook and YouTube. We, we changed it to the limited technology. We're going to send out a couple little short, hey, this is what's going on. This is how we're doing. Um, to encourage you, we're hoping that you guys can share some stories with us so we can be encouraged. Um, if you want text messages or anything from us, just uh, send us a private message. We'll get you on a message chat. Um, and then that way we can share some stories, some ideas. And then please, as you're going through with this, um, share this with your friends. Let them know what you're doing. They're going to think you're super weird, but that's great. <laughs> but then take some notes. What worked for you guys? What didn't work for you? Um, because in the future, when we do this kind of stuff, I would love to, to have more ideas to share. And so if you could just take some notes for us, uh, we'd appreciate that. And we're hoping that you'll join us on this limited technology December. Thanks for watching.